and welcome back to the vlog. We are at Port Hardy Airport coming to you live from Canada. Um, probably not live, probably a couple of weeks later after uh, John finally edits this. I, I'll edit soon. <laughs> I'm, we're, we're heading tonight to, where are we going tonight? Anacortes. Anacortes, Washington, and we're gonna hang out there for probably a day or two. Yeah, we're committed and, because I just booked the Airbnb, so. Yeah, um, <laughs> so probably two days in Anacortes, trying to get caught up on video editing and uh, just relax for a minute. We've been flying a, a good bit, so um, yeah, it'd be good to kind of settle down in a town for more than, you know, two, three hours at a time. So, we had a great experience in Canada. We're going to go to Boundary Bay and eat lunch because there's no food at this airport. Yeah, there really is no food. There's still the fog from last night um, is still kind of here. Um, luckily, it's not over the airport. But uh, I have yeah. a fun fact about Port Hardy. What is your fun fact? Fun fact. You can see, I don't know if you noticed, but there's... Can a, you see Russia? <laughs> there's a Grumman Goose here on the ramp. And there's a couple of other ones in a hangar over here. Port Hardy, or actually Wilderness Seaplanes, which is this company over here, is the last commercial operator, I believe they're 135, that still runs the Grumman Goose commercially. And I believe they have four of them, but one of those is used for parts. And the Grumman Goose is gonna be our next airplane. It's a dream airplane. <laughs> I want a flying RV, something that we can sleep in and not have to spend a hundred some bucks a night on a hotel. Um, and it's an amphib and twin yeah, engine. Totally. It's perfect. And be safer. Yeah, twin, sort of safer. And all the controls and the trims are up top. Which so. makes it super cool, like an <laughs> airplane, like a real airliner or something. Makes us feel like real pilots. So yeah, I think this has taken long enough. Um, we're gonna leave Port Hardy now and go to Boundary Bay. So let's Woo. hop in. I'm John from Fly 8 Mike Alpha, CFI turned airline pilot turned back to CFI. Come along on my journey, flying Alaska to Florida and beyond. Niner 62 Delta Hardy Radio Roger preferred runway 08 twin 080 at 7 altimeter 3013 and uh, are you ready to taxi right away what's your destination get ready to taxi affirmative uh, destination will be uh, Boundary Bay today 62 Delta Roger Squawk 7131 keeps that code all the way to Boundary Bay 7131 for 62 Delta, all the way to Boundary Bay. Airport Hardy traffic, Cessna 62 Delta, entering runway 08, departing south. Hey, final clear. 62 Delta, Hardy Radio, Roger. Well, there is a little bit of fog out there. Lucky it wasn't over the airport anymore. Yeah. <laughs> We're still on the localizer. Yeah, we'll go ahead and get rid of that for you. It's CDI on the 430 and it bounces back over GPS. I'll give you a direct to uh, Boundary Bay. Do you have a uh, Canadian database? In it sh okay. should, yeah. I like my rose. Picks out especially for you. Took me a very long time to find that thing. <laughs> Smells good too. Maybe I'll put it in my shoes. <laughs> yeah. Smells better than your feet. Terrific. All right, what's the Canadian trivia of the day going to be? Oh, you know what? A bunch of people probably don't know. What's the capital of Canada? Is it Toronto? Everyone thinks it's Toronto. Is it Ontario? That's a province. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Not a city. <laughs> um, all right, in the comments below, leave the capital of Canada if you know what it is. It is not Toronto. There's your Canadian trivia of the day. Stand by for more trivia. The earth scars. Yeah, all the logging scars. I wonder how they determine what sections they log if it's I like know. 
they get rights to a certain area or if it's just easier to log that particular area. It sure seems random from up here. It does seem very random. But that is the Canadian trivia of the day too. If you happen to know how they choose these places to log, leave it in the comments below because I'm kind of curious. So <laughs> it'd be really nice if somebody would let me know. Whenever we want to know something, we'll just, we ask, just ask you guys. Yeah. <laughs> it's like phone a friend, ask the audience. Yeah. <laughs> We could just Google it, but we don't have yeah. uh, reception in Canada, so. Yeah, we didn't pay for the da international data plan. <laughs> Keep an eye out for any sort of cables yeah, they've strung around here. Kind of unlikely, I would think, but just in case. Uh-huh. I'm amazed that we're still getting radio reception <laughs> down in between the mountains. Coops 911, Medivac, echo and maintain flight level 250. Pretty steep mountains. Oh, yeah. Valleys. Yeah, the mountains here are just about just as steep as in Alaska still. Even though we're 200 some miles from Alaska. 1,000 miles from Cordova and Valdez now. Wow. Crazy. Big distance in just a couple days. And it hasn't really changed all that much. You know, like the terrain and everything just hasn't yeah. drastically changed at all. Very thick forest. Oh yeah, very very thick forest. Not really any sort of good places to land. <laughs> very thick trees to hit. like King Kong the movie like these clips to watch that because I haven't seen it in like 20 years uh, I've only been alive 27 I know uh, yeah it looks like it's still like smoky and foggy down there and there's like these steep cliffs that protrude up what is that? okay we have to go fly over that what is that one pointy thing on top of that oh my yeah, we have to go over there and check it out. And keep climbing, just so we... Okay, yep. we'll uh, out right now. Make it. There's a November 2962 Delta, transport 951. Uh, 2962 Delta, got you 555. Okay, relay from Vancouver. Uh, they've lost radar on you. Uh, they've terminated radar services, and you can contact Colmox Terminal 123.7 if you wish. 123.7 will be the next frequency for 2962 Delta. Appreciate it, sir. Transport 951, thanks for your help. Hey, here's the pointy thing. What is the pointy thing? What is that? So weird. Is it a VOR? No, there's no VORs up here. What is the pointy thing? I do not know. <laughs> cool. That is so random. That is at 50.33 latitude and 126.30 longitude. That is so random. We'll have to look it up. Or one of our viewers can look it up. <laughs> since uh, we don't really have... Now. Yeah, we don't really have very good uh, 4G LTE up in this area. We're too cheap to get the Canadian plan. Alright, let's go ahead and contact whatever terminal approach control center radar this thing was. Are you on it now? Yep. Okay. Just call it center, I guess. Center, November 29er, 62 Delta. Or I guess they call it terminal or approach or something weird. Uh, I think it's Vancouver Center. Well, you know, you said it you was said something terminal? else. Yeah, it, well, you something weird, terminal-ish, I don't know. It was 23.7, was it? It wasn't Victoria, though, I don't think. I don't know. Too bad we can't rewind these cameras and listen to it. 
Colin Colmock, say again. It's uh, November 2962 Delta. November 2962 Delta, Colmock Terminal, turn to 3014, state current position, altitude and squawk code. Uh, current position is uh, about 30 miles to the uh, east of uh, Port Hardy and climbing through uh, 6,100 now, squawking uh, 7131. Is that right? Yeah. Can't read it. 62 Delta, squawk at end. 62 Delta identified, state destination airport and confirm aircraft type. That's a Cessna 170, and destination airport's going to be uh, Boundary Bay, uh, Charlie Zulu, Bravo Bravo, for 2962 Delta. 62 Delta, Roger, maintain this frequency, flight following. 62 Delta. Awesome. Do 7,500, should work out for us now. So we kept heading on over to the Boundary Bay Airport, climbed up a little bit to save on some gas, and then ran into this one little weird piece of airspace neither of us were quite sure on, and that's when we decided to phone a friend. I'm not entirely sure what this blue restricted slash warning area slash uh, MOA, whatever the heck thing is on the chart, so I'm going to just ask him. Um, Comox Terminal, 62 Delta, you got time for a question? 62 Delta, go ahead. Hey, uh, we're not from around here, and uh, pretty unfamiliar, but this little, uh, looks like an alert area, or CYA or something, uh, up on the chart ahead. Are we able to fly through that? CYA, probably. 60 Delta Affirmative, it's only active up to a thousand feet continuously. We'll be going active, uh, higher later on tonight, but uh, you'll be perfectly fine. 60 Delta, roger. Thanks, sir. Okay, that's... Uh, I didn't know if it was in hundreds of feet MSL, like flight levels, or it's if it was very in unclear. just feet MSL, it is, and uh, meters, very and confusing. what. <laughs> very confusing. Yeah. And that's why I love ATC, and you just ask them. So we got our airspace question sorted out, got vectored all over the place heading down towards Boundary Bay. Their upside down wedding cakes around their class Bravo airports in Canada seem to be of a slightly different flavor than ours here in the States. 62 Delta, my radar service now terminates, contact Boundary Bay Tower, 127 decimal 6. 127 decimal 6, 62 Delta, good day. This is Tower. Yep. Fox Road Indy, Bravo Exit, Boundary Bay Tower, Pond Frequency Squawk, and confirm inbound with Adis. Boy, they talk quick up here. Yeah. 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 Clear right down wind uh, 1360 Delta. Hotel Tango Mike Tower, no delay line from runway 13 at Alpha Traffic. Head one. one mile final. 60 Delta left down wind 13. Down right down. 2 Delta right Tower down. number 2 runway 13, follow a Cessna 2 o'clock left to base on a touch and go, keep it close behind that traffic. 60 Delta number 2 will be following. Blue Sierra Alpha Tower, extend crosswind, I'll call your base. Yeah, to inside. follow traffic one mile east of gas station. Yeah, inside. Uh, I don't. Yeah. Okay, just turn your right base. Yeah, I saw, I see him. Okay, perfect. Right, start slowing it down. Looks like he's pretty slow. Just like off the back of the uniform, Benavay Tower, runway 13, altimeter 3012, for spacing, reduce speed, cleared to left base, monitor, inner tower now, 118 decimal 1. 60 Delta, Benavay Tower, runway 13, altimeter 3012, for reduce speed, cleared to left base, monitor, inner tower now, 118 decimal 1. 62 Delta, Tower, cleared to land, runway 13. Clear to land, 1362 Delta. Hotel Foxhot, Hotel Tower, for spacing, fly direct threshold of runway 13. Hotel Foxhot, Delta. Hotel Tango Mike Tower Surveillance Service Terminal, oh. have a good flight. Oh, God. <laughs> Fertilizer or Every something. Tower is Skyline ah. Fox with Juliet, so I'm a uniform. That's terrible. Awesome. Skyline Fox, Chart, November, <laughs> Juliet, November uniform, Battery Bay Tower, runway 13, altimeter 3012, clear to left base for spacing, reduce speed. Oh, smells Clock like just massive scum. Battery Tower, follow the Cessna to 12 o'clock. We just have to go away, sir. Oscar, Oscar, Victor Tower, follow Cessna just west of gas stations, now at 1,000 feet, they're on a full stop. Oscar, Oscar, Victor, we traffic. 62 Delta Tower, exit left on Delta, contact ground 124, decimal 3, one off. Left on Delta, and what is Foxtrot Hotel Tower, clear for touch and ground. 243 for ground, Hotel which Fox is Hotel. up now, you're up with ground. Battery Bay ground, Cessna 296 to Delta with you. Number 62 Delta ground, taxi via Delta, cross runway 07, Charlie to the open cadet. Delta 07, Charlie to park. 
So we taxied on over to the restaurant, grabbed some food, charged up the cameras, got our DVFR flight plan filed for us to cross the border down into Washington, and of course, the flight plan got a little mishandled, I guess, but we'll talk more about that in the next episode. We'll go ahead and break this up into two parts for you guys. So we'll see you back for part two of crossing from Canada down into Washington, heading to Anacortes for the night. Share this video, share our journey with everyone you know, share it on Facebook. The more people that follow this and can learn from it, the better. You guys know the drill. Like the video if you do, subscribe if you have not already, and we will see you guys in part two of the next episode. All right, time to disrobe in a very difficult manner. <laughs> I've already got four layers on. How many layers do you have? Just two. Oh, wow. I know you have like 15. <laughs> yeah, uh, four. I wonder if one of us should fly while the other one tries to take off the jacket. <laughs> or if we should both do this at the same time and just see how I'm, far off course the airplane gets. I'm rudder flying. 